Hey, what's wrong guys, Stigler here in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect you have just seen on screen. Now before we get into the tutorial, what you're going to want to go ahead and do is head into the description and download the folder that is down there. Now in this folder, you will find this, you will have the, uh, the sound effects, you will have the mask as well as the clip, and you will have all of these presets right here. Now you will need all of these and in order to actually import this into your Vegas, you're just going to go ahead and click down here, go to FX change, just hold and then drag down like that. And that is all you have to do. Uh, so now once you are ready with that, uh, just go ahead and drag in your song. I've already marked mine out. Uh, this, the name of the song is going to be hat trick by Mesa. Uh, there will be a link in the description to the song. If you want to go with the same one, uh, and there are several ways to download it. Uh, and hopefully you should be familiar with those. Uh, but yeah, now let's just go ahead and drag in this clip. This clip from, is from Boomzy Fishy. Uh, his app will be on screen right now. Uh, so do show him some love as well. Uh, now, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is just right click on the sound effects right here. Go to properties and click normalize. Now, this is going to, you know, actually make the sound effects a bit louder without causing any distortion. So that we can actually hear the sort of building. Now, let's go and trim it. And let's go ahead and uh, line this clip up. So if we listen back to this. First I did it twice. We will want a build up here. So it's going to start like roughly here. First I yeah, like right here. So let's go and add a marker here. And now let's go to where there is a sort of uh, pump thing right here. It should be like this. There shouldn't be anything in between the character or the enemy. And the pump should be on its way out. Now let's go and trim that back down. And uh, let's go ahead and press U on the sound effects. Press S and then delete the rest of the sound effects. Now head into your video effects tab. Search for Twixter Pro. Uh, I don't know where I did that. Twixter Pro. Just like that, drag in the 100. And now what you're going to go ahead and do is just split it right there. Just delete it from the first one. Just make sure that there weren't any really complications. Just like so. And now just go in to your Twixter, uh, keyframe it. Now you go three frames forward. So one, two, three. From here, you go to uh, just start with 30 and you can only work your way forward. So if it looks sort of like this, if it doesn't, if, if there's still like a lot of space left in between the kill and like the character shooting or whatever, then you're gonna wanna increase the speed here. So I'm gonna drag this up to be 45. Let's see how this looks. You want it to be as close as possible to shooting. So for me, the, this is only a couple frames. It's going to be fine. So you're going to go to the end. You go one, two, three, four frames backward. You add a keyframe, go forward, drag this up until the character goes blue, just like so. And if you go to the next frame, set this to 50, you want to make sure that on this frame, the character is dragging out its, uh, its gun. And if it doesn't, you want to increase the speed here. Uh, so that should be fine, I guess. Let's drag it up a bit more, and that should be fine. Now, after you've done that, you're going to go ahead and render all of this out. So just select this area right there, press File, Render As, and uh, go up. And just render down very high quality settings. So these are the settings that I render everything with right there. So just go and render this out. Just name it like 0909 the Twixter 1. And I'll see you guys when this is done. All right, now once it has rendered out, just go ahead and drag it on top like that, and then just go ahead and delete the audio track. Uh, now, what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is drag in your mask. So if you wanna mask this out, there are a couple ways to do it. You can either go frame by frame on this, and just click down here, click on the first keyframe, click on the pen tool, and just outline the character like so, uh, just every frame until the kill. So like here, it's gonna be like 35 frames, you have to do that. Uh, or you can import this into After Effects to rotoscope it. Uh, now, for me, or for you too, there will be a rotoscope thing in the description that you can just go ahead and drag in. So let me go ahead and drag that in right here. And it's going to look sort of like that. Now, keep in mind that this does not have any Twixter on it. So the first thing you want to do to solve this is just click Properties, Media, go to Alpha Channel, and select Straight Unmatted. And now there will be a background. So now what you're going to go ahead and do to actually fix this is to just make sure that both of these are lined up and that uh, and that the frame is like the same, that the, the first frame of the mask and this down here is the same. And once that is true, or if there's any extra, just crop it out at the back or the front or whatever. Uh, and now you just control C, you know, press control C on the bottom one with the twister. And you paste that on top of the mask. 
Now, once that is pasted on top of the mask, you drag the mask out to the kill. And that is all you need to do. Now, we have a perfect looking mask here, which is great. Uh, and now, we're going to render this out again. So, you press S on the mask right there. You just select it like so. Press File, Render As. Now, you're going to want to head down to QuickTime 7. Now, this is an exterior plugin or whatever. So, if you do not have QuickTime already, I highly recommend that you install it. Otherwise, this will not work. So, uh, once you have it QuickTime, you're just going to want to go uh, into the render thing. And you just want to go ahead and copy my settings right here. Uh, so, just copy those. Press OK. And let's render this out as 909 mask 1. Click on render. And this should hopefully render out. All right. Now, once that is rendered out, just go ahead and drag it on top. Just delete the audio track. Delete the bottom mask. Right click properties, media, alpha channel, unmatted. OK. And now this should be transparent once again. You're going to go ahead and duplicate this track by going over here, right clicking and press duplicate track. Uh, now, what you're going to go ahead and, and, and do is uh, just drag in a couple presets here. So there should be an overhead skin glow 99 background right there. You drag that into the uh, the back right there. And then there should be a foreground, uh, which should be like right over here, foreground. Drag that on here. So that should be looking sort of like that. Uh, now, what you do need to do, however, is uh, apply a couple of presets to the bottom right here. So, uh, what you're going to go ahead and do is at the impact right there, you press S and you go in it to your presets once again and you drag in the over the impact revamp right there. Uh, so now you should have this. It probably will look pretty weird, uh, but it is what it is. We're going to go ahead and fade these in a couple frames, uh, like six frames, I guess, like so. And now we're going to go ahead and head over into the sound effects. So in the folder that you downloaded, there should have been a pump impact uh, sort of thing. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drag that in right now. Uh, it should just be called pump impact. It's right here. And you're going to sync this up so that it's sort of like that. I think you like that. Yeah, let's play it back. First I did it twice, then I twice. Let's go ahead and increase the audio here. First I did it twice, then I First I did it twice then I had a run. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, if you have any of your own sound effects or whatever, I personally use something called Spaz Impact. This is in, in another editing pack, but it, that this does sound like this. And I prefer that much to the pump impact, but I can't leak this, unfortunately. So it is what it is. I'm going to use this for now, though. Uh, now what you're going to go ahead and do is just control uh, Q on your keyboard, uh, make a new audio track, drag that up, press S right there, uh, drag that down, press control, drag that up, go here, S on that. Uh, now what you're going to go ahead and do is just drag the top one back, fade it in like so, uh, and fade that in with the same length, right click on the top right there and select a slow fade and drag that back fast fade like that and this should hopefully uh sort of make it sound a bit better uh, let's actually go ahead and drag that back a bit because the reason we're doing this is so that our sound effects uh sort of sound a lot better i guess now let's go and press on the uh the fx button right there add resonant filter vanilla plugin add okay drag that back to about like four thousand i guess and you should have something that sounds like this. Yeah, I think that's all right. All right, so now what you want to go ahead and do is just head into your video effects tab. Go right here. Search for BCC halftone. Just like that. Drag the default on to that. And now you should have something that looks like that. Uh, lower the brightness a whole lot. Just like sort of like that. Uh, and after that, you should be good. So it should just sort of come in. I guess we're going to fade this like a couple frames like so. And after that, we should be good. Uh, just make sure it's not too bright. I guess this works. I think we can make it a bit smoother as well. Uh, and after that, we should be fine. So what you want to go ahead and do now is just uh just render everything out like don't uh don't mute anything just render everything out as it is so in order to make sure that everything is fine i'm just going to go ahead and pre-render this 
uh, and if you have this, you should be good to turn everything out. If you don't, uh, you're gonna want to go ahead and rewatch the part that's messed up, I guess. Uh, so right here, you should have this. You should have that essentially. So now let's go and render that out. Same settings. Uh, let's go and do Nano Nine Twixter Three, and render that out. And I'll see you guys when this is done. All right, now once that is rendered out, just go and drag this on top. Just delete the audio track and press S right here. Now what you're gonna need to do is split right there and go back 23 frames. So for me, that is going to be uh, 13 more frames than this. And that is going to be three more frames. So right there, S right there, dragging the over the circle blur transition on it to here and uh, drag the second part onto here. Now you will want to just sort of delete the, uh, the half tone, just uncheck that. And after that, you're gonna want to render it out again. So uh, just go and select everything once again, file render as, and then uh, 909 Twister 4, I think. Uh, just go and render that out. All right, so now what you can just want to go ahead and do once again is drag the uh, the thing in again, delete the audio track, split the clip on the kill, on the impact, back up 60 frames, so it's 46 right there, back up to just 46 right there, split, drag in the over to build up 909, and that is literally the entire effect completed. That's all you have to do, and uh, really couldn't be more simpler than that. Uh, let's just go and play this back. First I did yeah as you can see just that simple really uh so yeah if you guys have enjoyed this video make sure to like down below comment subscribe all the good shit and i'll see you guys in a couple days and peace